to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to get into all my drawers that I use all the time and organize them. Organizing is just one of those things that makes me feel at peace. So let's do it together. We're going to go through these messy drawers and we're just going to get it done. So we're going to start off with my workout drawer. I just have a ton of stuff in here that's just like, I mean... You could see I just had shoved it in there because it was so full, but I wear the same like five things. So I have sports bras right there, and then I have a pile of like tops, long sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops, and then I have leggings. And then I have these two random shorts that I literally haven't worn in years. Um, they're running shorts and I don't even run, so not sure why I have them. But anyway, so what I like to do first is take everything out of the drawer and separate them into piles like I showed you. And then the next thing I do is I'm going to be folding them like Marie Kondo style. I just like how much you could fit in the drawer and like you could see everything when you fold it that way. So that's why I do it like that. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get rid of anything, but as soon as I started going through it, I was like, you know what, I haven't worn half of these things in years. I always reach for like the same few outfits because they're the most comfortable. Um, so I decided to just keep the things that I know I'm gonna wear and then as you could see it really like Makes it so you could see everything when you fold them this way and I love that because it's just easier to put away and Less likely that you'll just shove things in the drawer. So if you try this out, I would love to see you um, Maybe like tag me in a story or something because I love seeing other people's organization, too just gives me ideas and makes me happy, so I hope this can do the same thing for you. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Um, I really like how it looks. I just have all my leggings on the left and then in the middle is tops. I went from long sleeve to sleeveless and then I just have a few sports bras and I love to color coordinate because it just is more pleasing to the eye when you open the drawer. And then this is just the pile of stuff I decided to get rid of and it's all getting donated. And then this drawer, I just have a bunch of like bulky sweatshirts. I actually have them in two places, but this drawer really wasn't bad. I just decided to straighten up a couple of my sweatshirts and then close it and forget about it. It was in pretty good shape. So this drawer is a little bit random. I have my sunglasses in here. I have tank tops and then I also have this like random sweater and some random t-shirts that I don't really wear. I'm not, I actually forgot that they were in here. Um, and then I also found some garbage because this is where I hid my Christmas presents last year. Um, but I'm gonna still keep my sunglasses in here just because I like them to stay protected and everything and the drawer is pretty empty otherwise. So it's not bothering me. Um, and I could see what I have and then I also am gonna put my tank tops back in here and then maybe get rid of a few things.
why this clip is kind of like sideways. Um, I'm filming on my phone because I'm just starting out, just experimenting, and it's just funny. I was like, I wish I could show you how I had my phone positioned on my tripod. It was like inside of the ring light, but it was just funny. Um, and yeah, this is how the drawer turned out. Nice and color coordinated. It was really early in the morning, so the sun was like being crazy. Um, the next drawer is my like sweatpants. This is the top drawer, last drawer in this dresser. Um, and that too, I have a bunch of those in the wash because that's like all I've been wearing. So that drawer is like fine. Um, I keep up with that one. And then this dresser actually has like underwear and socks and stuff like that. And then the bottom two drawers are pajamas. So the bottom drawer that I'm doing right now is more like pajama sets and like nicer robes and just like nicer pajamas. And then I will also be doing my just like everyday pajamas, t-shirts and shorts kind of thing and making them look nice and pretty because they've, I've been pretty much living in them. So yeah. Also, who else is obsessed with these satin robes from Victoria's Secret or really anywhere? How amazing do they make you feel when you're just like putting a mask on or something like that and putting on your favorite show. I've been re-watching Gilmore Girls lately, but yeah, I love that robe. And then the other robe that I have is from a FabFitFun box, so. Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone This girl's a wonder She loves me as yeah, she needs to know So this is how the two pajama drawers worked out. Um, this first one, I actually forgot to film this part. So it's a few days later and I've worn some of this stuff already. So that's why it's a little messier. But I actually kind of like switched things around from how I usually have in there. And it's working out really well for me because I can see everything. And this is the bottom drawer. So in the back I have like little like slips and stuff. And then the side is pajama sets and in the front are like more cotton pajama sets that I wear more often. And yeah, so I really like how they turned out. I also wanted to quickly go through this drawer, which is just a bunch of hair stuff. I have little like clips, headbands, uh, hair products that I don't really use anymore, um, little hair tools. Uh, what else is in here? I also have scrunchies and just a bunch of little things, bobby pins hair ties, everything like that. So this drawer definitely needs to be decluttered. I haven't gone through it in a while. I just kind of like reach in and grab what I need and then like throw it back in there. So what I'm going to do is find a spot for all the little things. And then I will also um, be trying out kind of like a different way to store my scrunchies. I think I might keep them in this little pot, but I also want to try something out. So let's see if it works.
So what I was thinking is I decided to take a ribbon and at first I thought maybe I could put my clips on it, kind of like how people put bows and things like that. But I decided against that because they literally slid right off. So instead I'm going to be putting um, most of my clips on this little like paper. And then um, I also have some in my bathroom that I use more often. And then for the scrunchies, I think I'm going to try and put them on the ribbon and see if I could tie a knot and they'll stay or if I could maybe like tie it in a circle. Um, so it's kind of like a ring, like you know how you'd have those rings that would come with your scrunchies. So let's see if that works. And then, I don't know, I kind of was thinking maybe on the inside of that little like bin, we could do um, like a command hook so I could hook this like ribbon thing on the side so I could just grab that out really quick if I needed to but I'm not sure if it will stick in the inside so maybe I'll try that another day but for today I just went simple and um, just threw them on that ribbon and then I'm going to put them into that purple container which is actually funny enough from a um, what is it called edible arrangement that I got when I was in the hospital for my friends and I kept it because it was special and I decided to use it in this drawer. So that's how the scrunchy thing turned out. I think it came out pretty cute. I just tried to put everything back into the drawer in a way that I could visualize everything and everything has some sort of spot. Like I said, I didn't purchase any containers for this organization video but I just tried to work with what I have and this is how it turned out. Okay so I quickly just wanted to show you the two things that I want to organize next and the first one would be my essential oils which I would love to have like a shelf so I could have them, you know, the rows, I could see every single oil because I love to have them in my view when I'm in my room. I love to see them out. They just make me happy. And then I also want to organize my jewelry because I do love to wear jewelry. It's just when it's like kind of put away, <laughs> I forget what I have and then I don't end up wearing it. So that's kind of my issue. And if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear it. And if you if you like this kind of organization video, then I love to organize, so I'd love to make more. I think my closet could also use a little declutter and organization. And yeah, so if you like this kind of content, then please make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And I will see you next week with another video. Thank you for watching. Touch me, touch me, touch me, no more.